हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सतीश परियानी वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक कॉल्ड इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रोडक्टिविटी इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस टू सोसाइटी एंड द प्रॉब्लम असोसिएटेड विद प्रोडक्टिविटी वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स कंटेंट्स आर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग need to measure productivity what is partial productivity what is total productivity what are objectives of productivity and the references used now let us come to the topic productivity and standard of living engineering from engineering point of view effective utilization of resources is the major theme used around the resources are man material method and money second why this is productivity is important it is important because of to increase or to have the better standard of living of the people availability of materialistic item or sustaining enjoying life is one of the basic theme which is used for increasing the productivity still many are living with acute shortage of basic needs now you have recently seen the venezuela crisis from where from riches to rags now people are even suffering to have the basic needs of food clothing and shelter so the security is also a very big question mark now standard of living is increased or improved if the greater amount of consumable goods better the standard of living if the consumable goods are improved then the standard of living of the people increases this can be done basically in two ways first there is increasing employment now increasing employment can be done if unemployed are increased or given the chance to have a job so that increase from unemployed to employed second the underemployed is suppose somebody is working at lower level then he has to improve his standard of living or he has to be increase his employment from that level to higher level he should know from where he has to work it and finally the employed this increasing productivity is the only way of doing uh, increasing the standard of living and finally the increasing productivity both the options are used for increasing availability of goods now we come to the topic goods versus society now we know if productivity of agriculture more the quantity then we know the more the quantity then the cheaper the food will be available at a very cheaper rate from industrial point of view more the quantity then cheaper will be the clothing and shelter because there is the competition and then the person who is able to give at a very cheap rate or what you can say at a very competitive rate will able to sustain the industry overall increase in productivity is more security and essential service for public use as we explained in the last slide venezuela if they are not able to have the good amount of food or clothing or shelter then their security was in quite big question mark still there is big question on security now the need to measure productivity productivity has been a very important theme which has to be which has to be utilization of resources was always in focus the resources are man material method money how they are being utilized is always in focus this can be done through measures on performance of system productivity is one such measures productivity is operationalized ratio of output to input in a very simple terms it means output to input 
aiming at how efficiently our resources are being used in productivity desired output it aims how efficiently our resources are being utilized in terms of many times the resources we are to maximize to have the maximum productivity means output should be maximum from the given input or if we increase the input the output also increases but the percentage also has to be increased more so that means productivity is more in that case or keeping the input same if the output increases then it is best productivity improvement now we come to the topic of partial and total productivity what do you mean by partial productivity partial productivity shows how efficiently an individual type of input resource is being utilized now let me explain with you one with one example example is like now we consider three different types of products and n number of inputs are being used and total output is the same in that case <coughs> so let us assume that product a how much the improvement is there in product a with use to overall input this is called partial productivity similarly in many industries the partial productivity like department productivity is also been given of the example of partial productivity how uh, ppc department is performing how hr department is performing how uh, materials department is performing let us take this example to explain further it is a ratio of aggregate aggregate output to individual input resource used for production what has explained you is the same it indicates specific areas of deficiencies where work is got to be done means if the product a is performed with the same input if the product a is having the less output it means its productivity is less so we can attack on that bottleneck resource and to improve the productivity in hr terms many times it, their performance appraisals are being done with the help of the same this department is performing good so there can be more appraisal for them this department is performing less so there is a less department less appraisal for them for this year if partial productivity is with respect to some specific but total productivity is respect to the total overall of the system as we can say overall system total productivity is therefore as a ratio of aggregate output to aggregate input now when you see in the balance sheets when you read the balance sheet there you can understand these figures are for total productivity we can use for total productivity rather than partial productivity so total productivity is acting as overall at the system and the partial productivity is at overall acting at a local level like a department wise and uh, total productivity as a company wise total productivity therefore shows performance of the system as a whole productivity measurement what are the objective first its basic ob objective is to study performance of system over a period of time second to compare performance of different system for a given level as i already explained you like if hr want to appraise if our hr want to give some uh, performance appraisal to different departments then is able to compare from this department to this department check if this plant to second plant so this is very important to compare actual versus planned productivity of the system here when we see when any company or any system is being launched there is some simulation method or there is some simulation planned productivity what is assumed what is put as a theoretical way so this productivity measures can also be used to compare actual versus planned productivity of the system now please observe this note even though concept of productivity is simple measurement is a serious 
very serious problem industry pro industry faces industry produces different types of output of different inputs now let us think here two minutes first when the there are n number of products suppose now we take an example of lg electronics uh, electronics giant there tv is been produced refrigerator is been produced ac is been produced there copper is been used as a same item throughout different products now how you will measure the productivity with this system so data collection if the person is working for three different streams how you will use his time utilization whether he is utilize his 2 hours for ac department 2 hours for refrigerator department 2 hours for something this data collection is a very big question mark so even though productivity concept is very simple output to input but this data collection is very very difficult secondly this is for one a human when it is working for three different streams now if there are n number of products like product ac wash and ac is there then second refrigerator is there, then washing machine is there, n number of products. Then how will measure the productivity if the resources are being same is being utilized? This generally happens a big question mark in batch type of productions or where a medium scale found medium scale industry where n number of industry, n number of uh, things are being utilized. Similarly, the out, there is a case is if the output is different, this is again productivity measurement is different. So it requires a precise control over data. Data has to be challenged every time. Now think, list down some cases of partial productivity which you see around or which you have thought, which you have thought. References. Please refer to NPTEL references and introduction to work study ILO. Thank you.